Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Minus storms, here's the, uh, the main threat is damaging winds. We've had some uh, wind damage reported over northwestern Pennsylvania. Could be some hail, though, and a tornado is not out of the question. We have seen a little circulation in some of these storms. It's not out of the question, and uh, we're up the flooding to a low possibility. They're moving fast, but they're putting down some pretty heavy rains. Severe thunderstorm watch up till 10 for the entire area, but here's the line. We talked about this yesterday. We said it would be scattered, not a whole lot until late in the day. Here is that line we've been talking about, but you notice there's getting these little wiggles along the line. This is that area. I really thought they'd extend that warning, but not quite yet. There is a warning up to the north, up toward uh, Columbia County, but also to the south. Just getting into Franklin County is a warning until 430. So west of I-81, but Chambersburg, get ready for it. Newville up toward uh, Carlisle. Again, these storms are coming eastbound. In the meantime, nothing happening in York right now. Just some cloud cover. Clouds are good, though. We got some sun for a while. I was getting a little, mm, little, little uh, worried about that, but the clouds have come back in. It's been a windy afternoon. Southwest winds 20, gusting to 28. Dew points are now in the 50s. Early in the week, they were down the single digits. So alert period through this evening, strong to maybe severe thunderstorms. Winds the main culprit, but again, watch for some hail, maybe a spin up tornado. Then mostly cloudy storms come to an end. This probably by around 11 o'clock or so. Breezy and mild, could be a few leftover showers. That's about it. Clouds and sun tomorrow. I think we start with a little sun, we cloud up, then we start clearing late in the day. There could be a rain or not out of the question, even a few wet snowflakes mixed in. Temperatures are quite mild off to the west. They are starting to cool down, but the front, the actual cool front is still west of Pittsburgh. This line is in advance of that uh, and is going to continue to move eastbound. Look at the southerly winds. Here's the westerly winds. This is where the line is, but the cold front is still just off to our west. That'll sweep through with these storms and end things later on. So let's time it out. Uh, we'll fall with the rain back into the 60s, but here it is about 8 o'clock. You see the line coming through Lancaster County around 222 into southern York County. Moves out. Could be a few leftover showers, maybe a rumble. That's it. Overnight, we're down in the 40s. Tomorrow, and yeah, those hit and miss rain and even some snow showers. We could get up near 50, but I think we'll end the day probably in the lower 40s. So it's going to get cooler. Going to be a windy day tomorrow. Wind gusts over 30 for most of the afternoon. They settle down as we head into Saturday. So tomorrow, again, some clouds, but then it looks like a few rain and snow showers in the afternoon. Clearing, blustery. For, for tomorrow evening. Saturday looks okay. A few showers on Sunday. Doesn't look like a washout, but again, just a few showers around and temperatures back up near seasonal levels on Monday. Watch for those storms, though. Be alert through this evening.